Welcome to JDM Trivia number 8. I expected people to jump on the Fujiwara Tofu livery on the Corolla E80 sedan, and I was right about that. Actually, I wasn't aiming for the initial D inspired sticker, but rather for the Hachiroku Panda paint scheme applied to it. Why? Well, because the two tone panda scheme of the Hachiroku is actually quite subtle, and it's easy to make mistakes in it. To get started, and sorry if you already knew this, but there are two types of Hachirokus. The Toyota Corolla 11 and the Toyota Sprinter Terreno. The former has fixed square headlights, while the latter has 70s and 80s style pop-up headlights. Both of them featured in two body styles, three-door hatchback and a two-door sedan. People actually refer both as the coupe, as both of them have been marketed as a coupe in various regions. However, according to the Toyota Firewall ID plates, the real coupe is the three-door hatchback and the two-door sedan is called a hardtop. But enough about introducing even more confusion. In principle, the two-tone panda scheme looks like a relatively simple paint scheme. Two-tone paint, where the bottom part is black and the top part is a contrasting color in either white, red or silver. And the side molding also in the same contrasting color. This paint scheme was only in Japan available on the GT Apex models, while outside Japan it was available on the USDM GTS models and in Europe on the GT models. There were also a few other two-tone schemes available, grey on black, grey on silver, light and dark blue, light and dark green and beige and brown. However, these paint schemes were not the same as the Panda paint scheme. They missed the contrasting side molding and top painted bumpers. In Japan, these schemes were sold as the GTV models and often referred to as the Reverse Panda. So let's continue with the differences between the two-door and the three-door versions. The two-door lacks the swooping black paint going up to the taillights. This swoop is often forgotten or not done properly when people try to redo the paint scheme on a three-door. The swoop is present on both the Levin and the Terreno. The rear bumper has been painted in a contrasting color on top that follows the line of the side molding. On both styles, the side molding has a contrasting color where the rear quarter panel has a sticker applied with either Levin or Treno in black. The difference between the Levin and Treno is clearly visible from the front of the car. Treno's front bumper sits slightly higher than the Levin's. So the early model Zenki has a contrasting stripe that has been applied following the side molding and on top of the bumper it's black. On the facelifted Trano, the white contrasting line on the top of the bumper is actually following the line of the black line just above the side molding. The difference between the Zenki and the Kuki Trano is quite clear if you compare the two in this initial D screenshot. Finding a Panda Trano in a different shade than black and white will be quite difficult. And it's similarly difficult to find a facelifted model of the Trano. Most of them already have been converted into a copy of the Fujiwara Tofu Special. On the early Zenki 11, the bumper sits lower, hence the thin black stripe is present on the front fender, which continues between the headlights and just above the contrasting white paint on top of the bumper. This white contrasting line ends at the front indicators of the Levin as they sit slightly higher than where the line starts. And then, after these two meet, the line follows the top of the indicators. For the facelift of the Levin, the paint on the fender is unchanged, but the contrasting line on the bumper has become slightly thinner. So hopefully now you know everything about the Hachiroku two-tone Panda paint scheme. And if you have any comments or additions, just leave them in the comments below. These are for the next time. What car is this? And maybe you have seen these daylights somewhere before? Also leave your guesses below in the comments. See you next time!